What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood. Good afternoon. This is the IE Network, and this is the Heaven Hollywood Report. So let's get into it. J-Lo picks Ben Affleck out of all of her exes who were chasing her. She has decided on Ben Affleck, and we have the details Of how this came about. Now. As we all know. Jennifer Lopez. A couple of months ago. uh, Decided to call it quits. With her fiance Alex Rodriguez. She called off the engagement. And then called off the relationship. Now. If you remember. A couple of months before that. There was a report. And G. Shout out to in case you didn't know. Has been reporting since last year that this would be Jennifer Lopez and Alice Rodriguez last year together because she has allegedly caught him cheating already a couple of times in a relationship. One time with Jose Canseco's ex-wife, Jessica, and then another time he was caught on Instagram, you know, uh, liking certain girls' pictures you know, DMing them, and then finally with the reality star, you know, who nobody even really knows her name, but um, it was her, the, the third, and that was the final straw. Now, once J-Lo started having issues with A-Rod, she was in contact with a couple of her exes. She was in contact with Sean Puffy Combs. And then, most recently, she started having contact with Ben Affleck. Benifer. <laughs> her ex fiance, another one of her ex fiancés. Now, she was still technically in the relationship with A Rod, but it was getting ready to end. And she basically told. Ben Affleck, it was getting ready to end. Ben Affleck was allegedly sending her love letters, you know, and it reminded her of when they were together because he used to do that when they were together, send her love letters, and she loved them. That was one of the things about Ben Affleck that Jennifer Lopez said no other of her ex-boyfriends really did. He would write her love letters and send her. They'd be in the same room, and he'd be writing. She'd be like, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just working on something. And then when he finished the letter, he'll come over and give it to her. He would write her love letters, and they'd be in the same room. She loved that about Ben Affleck. Okay? So as they was having, A-Rod was having problems. She started confiding in Ben. Now, she goes to DR to film... Uh, this movie that she filmed, the, the Wedding Crasher, the Wedding Planet, whatever the heck she's filming. All right, the bride, the the the, the uh bride to be. <laughs> I really don't know the name of the film. However, Lenny Kravitz was in the film. All right, she starts getting close to Lenny Kravitz. You know, they have been, you know, friends from afar for many years. He's known her. He's always wanted to get with her. But, you know, like a lot of men, Jennifer Lopez is always seemingly taken. And Lenny Kravitz is like the male Jennifer Lopez. (laughs) So he was always seemingly taken. So Lenny Kravitz, while they were in Dominican Republic, starts getting close to J-Lo, starts telling her, and it was really Lenny Kravitz that convinced J-Lo that this thing with Alex Rodriguez is over. Because he allegedly let her know her worth, let her know, listen, you're Jennifer Lopez. Any man should kill to have a woman like you on their arm. Now, Lenny's telling her these things, boosting J-Lo's confidence back up because, you know, according to what I received, the information I received, J-Lo was really down and out 
after this last one with Alex Rodriguez, and she was basically saying, you know what? I'm done. I'm done trying to find Mr. Right. I'm done worrying about getting married again, whatever. You know, I'm done with it. And that's the reason why she started reopening her options. But there's one thing about Jennifer Lopez, and I told you this. Two things she's not going to do. One, she's not going to bash the man. She's going to try to keep it, you know, whatever happened. And she's going to say, oh, it was irreconcilable differences. Or we, it was mutually agreed. She's never going to embarrass the man the way they embarrass her by cheating on in public. And two, the other thing J-Lo is not going to do is be alone. So she, her and Ben Affleck waited until she came back from the Dominican Republic, even though they were still texting and talking. Uh, while she was with Lenny and Dominican Republic, I heard they may have had a moment. A moment. Now, what is involved in that moment? Was it kissing? Was it touching? Was it fondling? Hugging? Was it intimate sex? A one night stand? Whatever, ha whatever have you. They had a moment in, D in DR. But the moment she got back to the States, she's been back linked up with Ben Affleck. And according to the sources that I spoke to, they've pretty much been inseparable since J-Lo has been back to L.A. They just went off to Montana, had a vacation together. And Alex Rodriguez allegedly heard about this and he was living. And he feels as though Jennifer Lopez is pointing the finger at him about him cheating because she was doing it. You know, A-Rod is going to never admit to the public that he was cheating with that Madison LaCroix or whatever her name is. But now he feels as though he has a scapegoat. And remember, he just linked up with J-Lo a couple of weeks ago. They were out to dinner. But I told everyone that was nothing. That is just J-Lo trying to dissolve whatever businesses they have together. Because she said, and I'm sure Alex agreed, they can't really work together anymore. They're not a couple. A lot of their business ventures was, you know, laced around them being a power couple. But they're not a couple anymore. So they can't be a power couple. So they're kind of trying to dissolve all the businesses they have together. You know, the, the two businesses or what have you. So that is what has happened. Jennifer Lopez has picked Ben Affleck. And it's going to be Benefer 2.0. Maybe we can call it, you know, um, Benajan. <laughs> Benajan. Instead of Benefer, maybe we can call it Benajin, or it can be Benefer 2.0. Well, that well that would be it would have to be 2. Point or 3.0 because him and, and Jennifer Garner was Benefer. <laughs> oh man! So what do you want to call Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck? You know, second time around. What's going to be the fandom name for them? Are you here for it? Do you think she should have picked someone else? you think she should have went back to Mark Anthony? Do you think she should have went back to Diddy? Do you think she should have went back to A-Rod? Or do you think she just should have started new with Lenny Kravitz? Like, comment, subscribe below. I thank everybody. Uh, please subscribe if you have not. And I thank everybody for visiting the IE Network. We really appreciate it. It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, out.